Hello everybody, so Miss Kieran and I am back with another episode. Today I'm going to be talking about Star Wars The Clone Wars Adventures. So, as you may know, of uh, those of you who know what Star Wars The Clone Wars Adventures is, basically it was a game, it was an MMO, a base, it was a video game based off of Star Wars The Clone Wars Animated TV Series, which is probably my favorite TV show of all time. And I want to call it recently because it wasn't recent at all it was january 28th i messaged daybreak games about if star wars the clone wars adventures would be coming back and this is what they messaged me back they told me we have no plans to bring back any previous Sunset games. And that was January 27th, uh, 2017. Now, this is not the end of Star Wars The Clone Wars Adventures, if that's what you're thinking right now. This is far from actually being the end of Star Wars The Clone Wars Adventures. Because you see, I'll go on with the one, the... First, I got two reasons why. Now, hear me out. Now, number one reason is that Disney is looking to have a new animated Star Wars TV show after Rebels ends. Because Rebels is on their last season, season four. They confirmed that that is their last season of Star Wars Rebels. In my mind, I was, th I was saying, thank God. And although... This might be bad news for you Rebels fans to hear. I was actually happy because Rebels was not as, wasn't that good of a TV show in my mind. Sure, when Thrawn stepped in, it started to get better. But besides Thrawn, the Rebels TV series wasn't really that good at all. There wasn't any lightsaber duels. There wasn't any big fights. And their biggest villain in Season 1, Agent Callus, turned to their side. I know that... I was about to say, I know that Ventress, like, kind of uh, left in Clone Wars. But she didn't turn to the Republic. She went back to her homeworld. Now, about what is... So, basically, we don't know what... Uh, what we don't know what the TV show is going to be that Disney has planned to choose as their time period of Star Wars The Clone Wars Adventures. But what they could do is they could do Clone Wars. And a lot of people want this to happen. A lot of people are thinking that Disney might revive Clone Wars. Because Clone Wars ha still has a huge fan base. And if... If it even if their fan base their fan base is either the same or even bigger for the Clone Wars than when they ended because a lot of people started to watch the Clone Wars TV show and a lot of people really love the Clone Wars TV show and this could make Disney be like oh there was this one game that we had called Star Wars the Clone Wars Adventures well Sony had that. That uh, Disney, well, uh, well, Luke when Lucas Films, Lucas Films like told them to make it and whatnot, but Disney was like, oh, that actually made a lot of money and was having people go on it every single day and was really good and a really good profit. They could be like, oh, let's try to bring that back, and that would, and there you go, we have Clone Wars Avengers back. Now, my next one is the one that is more likely to happen, and it actually is going to happen. Is that there have been, there is this team of creators called, that have started a project called Star Wars Adventures Emulator. Now, I know what you're thinking, an emulator, really solo, but hear me out on this one. This isn't the regular emulators where they just have some gear and... Uh, you just walk around seeing the what used to be Star Wars, the Clone Wars Adventures, like the big like Coruscant and all that, or different planets. Now this emulator has different planets and Coruscant and all of that, 
But what they also have is they just released... Well, they didn't just release this video, but they have a video of Republic Defender, and that was a huge game back in the old game that really attracted most of the players to the mini games of Clone Wars Adventures. Was they had a act? They actually had Star Wars Republic Defender. Now, yet, yeah, well, yes, they. So you're probably like, oh. So what they have Republic Defender? Yes, that is a hard game to make, but they they're just showing one video about it. Yes, but they have been working on that, and I've actually talked to the developers, and they actually have a podcast. Actually, not really a podcast, but they have a talk where you can ask them questions every single week, basically around every single every Saturday. They have this talk, and they said they want to have this talk more with people when summer comes out and they actually have not only shown that mini game but other mini games as well i don't know what the mini games are called exactly but I, when i was talking to them they showed me more images of the game about what they're working on and i was actually surprised to see that they are doing really well they had another game that i really liked as well called galactic forces they showed me some images on making galactic forces and it was great I actually saw, I, I was like, oh wow, this is actually progressing really well. I saw, they are actually doing some really amazing work, and you should really subscribe to them. They're at 255, I believe, subscribers now, and uh, they have a huge fan base, and it'd be great if they could expand that. Now, you might be saying, okay, so they got the mini games from Star Wars, the Clone Wars Adventures back, so what? They also have armor that they just had now. They also are having s membership come back. I know a lot of you are like, oh, membership, great. Now I have to go pay with my money to get membership on a game that, well, I have to just pay membership with my own money. You actually don't. This membership is in-game cash that you can buy. And it is. it should be really cheap once they announce like the price. And the way to get credits is to play the mini games. And the mini games, I know you might be saying, like, oh, great, we just have to play mini games to get cash. They are actually really fun and really, like, great to play. And if you are one of those social people that played Star Wars The Clone Wars Adventures just for socializing with friends and making new friends, they actually have that as well. They said that they're going to be opening servers on a closed beta sometime in December and or like fall. So this would be really great. And so they're going to have servers, mini games, and gear that they've they already showed on this channel. They recently uploaded the video with gear. And if you are saying if if you think like that's how they move in, well they. They had like this, it showed like them just kind of like floating with the gear. That's not how you move in the emulator. They actually have like this running thing. They also have pets come back, guys. So this is really good. And it's really shaping up to be an awesome game. Their YouTube channel is called uh, CW. Okay, so capitalized CW. A E and then M U. It's basically it stands for Clone Wars Adventures Emulator, and they are doing really well, guys. So, or well, they're doing a really great job, and it'd be and it'd be much more better with your guys' support. If any of you know coders or the people that uh, make a animations, contact them and get them to help with this game because the sooner the more people they have on board the sooner this project comes out and they are gonna and if you're thinking oh well clone wars adventures yeah it'd be fun for the first like month or two but it's gonna get kind of boring because of no updates they actually are going to be updating the game they said it's not only going to be just like the original Clone Wars Adventures, but they're also going to increase it with more mini games and more gear and armor to unlock. They also showed how you can now have your houses back as well on the latest upload. Well, their latest upload was them streaming a talk where you talk to them, but 
but if you check their latest update um, episode, and they are actually my favorite YouTube channel right now, and I always stay tuned for their uh, talks because I always want to see how the project is working, how the project is working, and these are just really great people in general. So that's the end of this, guys. If you like this episode, leave a like, subscribe, and comment, and leave a like if you really want to see Clone Wars Adventures come back. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Just keep staying awesome, guys. The galaxy has descended into conflict. War has erupted on countless worlds. And the forces of the Republic are all that stand against the rising tide of the dark side. The Jedi Order needs heroes like you. Protect the cloning facilities of Kamino from the Separatists. Defend the Twi'lek homeworld of Ryloth. Overcome the dark side on Dathomir and stop the droid armies at all costs. Whether you're leading the Republic in battle, getting your droids combat ready, or building your home on a distant world, become the Jedi you were destined to be. Clone Wars Adventures. The Force is in you.